Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today I am going to be making some copycat nutter butters. These are actually going to be a soft cookie. If you know nutter butters, you know those are a little bit of a crunchy type sandwich cookie that is basically all peanut butter. Well, Jesse and I both love peanut butter. Him probably a little more than me, but I do love it too. So, this is a recipe that I have had hiding around in my messenger inbox for some time, and I am finally gonna make these because his birthday's in a couple of days. Of course, by the time this video comes out, that will be long past, but I thought this would be a nice little birthday surprise for him. This is gonna be a super easy cookie recipe, and you're probably going to be a little bit surprised on how this comes out. I've actually made a version of these before, not the nutter butter, just the actual peanut butter cookie part, not the filling and stuff. This is a three ingredient peanut butter cookie. I have a cup of peanut butter that I'm going to put in my stand mixer. I have one cup of sugar and one egg. I am going to blend all of that together until it's mixed up well. I'm going to use my cookie scoop so that I can kind of get these sort of uniform in size since I am going to be making them a sandwich cookie. I'm just going to try to keep them all in a nice little ball that matches or equal in size as much as possible. I'm going to do all of these up and then I'll be back. Now I need to, well I'm probably going to have to move these a little bit, but I need to do the crisscross with the fork. gonna do it carefully because I don't want it to ruin the cookie but then I need to smoosh my cookie kind of in the middle because as you know nutter butters are like peanutty shaped so <laughs> I'm gonna do this the best I can well I got them all shaped the best I could get them shaped I don't know if they're going to hold this shape after baking. They may turn out looking more like rectangles. I'm not for sure. But I figured, what's the harm? Doesn't hurt to try. So these are going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. While they're in the oven, I will work on that filling. Okay, for this filling, I'm going to be using a fourth a cup of peanut butter. To that, I'm going to add a fourth a cup of regular butter. Now this butter just needed to be room temperature. Mine was pretty cold, so I went ahead and put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. I'm gonna mix all that together. Now I'm gonna slowly add one cup of powdered sugar to this. Two tablespoons of milk here. I'm going to add just a little bit, maybe one tablespoon. I don't want it to get too runny. That's why I don't want to add all the milk at one time. I want it to be pretty thick. I think that looks really good. Okay, they're done. And they actually do somewhat hold their shape. Some of them are a little better looking than others. They're really soft. I've got to let them cool probably a good 15 to 30 minutes. I'm just going to let them get really nice and cool. That way, hopefully, when I take them off and try to put the filling in them, they don't just crumble in my hand. Unfortunately, that one looks like he's already broke. 
Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to take these off. I'm gonna add some of this. I gotta not do too much on one because I don't want to not have enough for all of them. But look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna finish these up and then I'll be back to do a taste test. There they are, all done up. As you can see, I got eight of them. So if you wanted or needed more, you would have to either make the cookies a little smaller, which might not be a bad idea. As you can see, compared to the hand, they're a pretty good sized cookie. Or you could double the recipe and, you know, get like 16 or something out of it. I'm just gonna pick one here and give it a little bit of a taste test. I'm gonna let you see. There's the filling in there. These did uh, harden up enough that they're not going to just fall apart in my hand, as you can tell. I'm gonna split this open and I'm gonna give it a taste. Mmm. Very peanut buttery. I think they're really good. I think Jesse is going to enjoy them. If you give these a try, or if you've made three ingredient peanut butter cookies before, comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Happy eating.